All right, so this is the game that I made in Python using the Py Pygame package. So you can see here, I can start the game with the R. Uh, and it's WSAD or the arrow keys to move if you want to give it a try. Gotcha, yeah, sure thing. So you say arrow yeah. keys to move? And it's the, the mouse to control the crosshair. Got it, okay, let me go well. do that. Let's try this out yeah. here. So basically, it will infinitely generate rooms of a random okay. shape and size, and you walk into that tile in the middle uh, of the room. Oh, okay, and what's this? That's the enemy, so in a second, gotcha. yeah, oh, okay, so I should yeah. run away from it. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Can, I, can to... I damage it in any yes. way? Like, yeah, okay, move awesome. the crosshair and uh, click to shoot at gotcha. it. Gotcha, oh, okay, it has, I like, see. Little, yeah, it has the I see, wow, this one's fast. Yeah. All right. Yes. Okay. So I got it. Awesome. Okay. And then look around the room a little bit here. Sometimes, a, okay. like if you walk into that, that's a power up. Right. Oh, okay. Awesome. So in that case, now you move a little bit faster. Oh, the speed. that's pretty cool. Okay. So then it generated another room in this direction here. All right. And then uh, should, I, should I walk on that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you walk gotcha. into the activation tile again. Oh, that's that's a really big one. Okay. Yeah. So I should probably kill this enemy too, right? Yeah. Yeah. All you right. just continue killing the enemies, and like it has a series of waves that gets harder as you go. Gotcha. Oh yeah. That, these are these are the fast ones. I remember these guys. Yeah. 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 When you kill the big one, it spawns <laughs> three littler ones where we died. Gotcha. All right. We got all of them. Okay. Next room. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Yeah. This is really cool. So tell me more about how this terrain is generated. Is it random or is it like scripted? It's yeah. It's. Pretty random. So basically, first uh, it chooses a random direction in which to start traveling, and then it finds the current player location, and then it uh, tries to generate a room where the player currently is, which won't work because it doesn't want to overlap with the terrain that already exists. Gotcha. So then it will just start moving the room in another direction. And normally it can go, it can go up, down, left, right, or down. Okay. But in this case, it's kind of bad luck that it's just going left and right, uh, which is making you have to walk a super long way every time. Yeah, no, that's pretty cool. And tell me a little bit more about the art and the graphics here. Did you make them yourself? Yeah, so these are all original game graphics. Just I was originally going to use some open source game art because that wasn't really the focus of the project. Uh, but I eventually just decided to make it my own because I wasn't able to find enough game art to make an entire game. Gotcha. Uh, and was this based off like any other game? Were you inspired by something? Uh, nothing in particular. I know this gotcha. is a pretty classic genre of game, just like a dungeon crawler shoot 'em up type thing. No, I mean, this is pretty cool. I'm not going to yeah. step on that one because I don't want to get chased around anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or yeah. you can also, I can show you the leaderboard functionality if you just step on sure it. Sure thing, yeah, I'll that, step on it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, let's go and just run into this guy real quick. Yeah. So you see here, there's like a prompt to enter your name and then oh, you wait, can awesome. use the keyboard. Yeah, sure thing. And then it will add it to a CSV file when you click enter and then it sorts it and shows wow. the Wow, okay, yeah, some points. of these people did really well. 7,000? <laughs> I think, yeah, I did quite a bit of testing and I got good at the game over that's time. That's pretty good, yeah. yeah thank well, you. that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, tell me a little bit more. Like, how was the process for building this game? Were there any challenges that you had to overcome? And uh, on the flip side of things, what was the most proud part of your project that you're really happy about? Yeah, well, I would say that the hardest thing was definitely the world generation uh, because I wasn't sure what data type I would want to store the world. What I eventually decided doing is sort it as a dictionary where the keys would be the location, like it would be the coordinates 0, 1, for example, and then the value would be like what type of tile there was. So would it be a floor tile or a wall tile or something like that? And just figuring out how to automatically add rooms and add them in correct spaces that would make sense, that was probably the biggest challenge of the project. Gotcha. And are you planning on launching this game on Steam or anywhere else in the future? Because this is pretty fun to play with. <laughs> oh, thank you. It is on <laughs> GitHub. Okay. Uh, with some instructions for installation. But I don't think I'm going to release it anywhere else. Gotcha. No, that's pretty yeah. fair. Well, awesome. Thank you so much again. And what was your name again? Uh, Luke Reynolds. Awesome. Well, thank you so much again, Luke. <laughs> yeah, nice yeah. to meet you. This was CS50. <laughs>